guys, my name is Fai Fai and welcome back to another episode of Shape.io. And what are we doing today? We are making this blue, yellow, well, cyan and yellow, circle spiky foosball, I want to say. Or well, it looks a little bit like a Beyblade, actually, if you've ever seen Beyblade. All right, and what I've done before, uh, well, off screen, I quickly just got the stars ready uncolored and the circles ready uncolored so i'm gonna make uh three lines so that will be nine because if we take a look here if we do three for this three for that and three for that i would have liked to have done four so 12 lines and that would equal down to four belts but i ran out of shapes for the stars as you can see up here i pretty much used all of them and I don't want to go around cutting other objects just to make stars so we're going to set with three lines of this item so what I want to do first I want to just get the base color done so I need to paint all these yellow and then I need to paint all of the circles cyan now how do I make cyan it is blue and green so I'm going to need a big batch of blue and green, which this may be enough. I need nine altogether. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, only six. We need more green. Let's do this one. Seven, eight and nine so okay yeah that's fine and then we need nine of this which this definitely won't be enough that's three five and i could mostly put one there but i'll do it here it's another three or four actually then you had five up here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Now we want to make a load of them. So if we go to the mixers here, and I believe I have too many mixers <laughs> in this blueprint. So we're going to take a look at this quickly. I do 16 per line, per conveyor belt. And these do 3.2. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's, I'm doing 32 items per second. I don't need that. I need five. Five is more than enough. So if we go one, two, three, four, and five. We don't need anything here. And we can delete that, that. And it just makes it so much smaller. So we literally cut it down by half. Um, let's get rid of this one. And we're going to need nine of these. So it's going to get quite big, this factory. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Need two more. Eight and nine and again it doesn't really matter where the colors go in although i do like to keep it the same entry point for this for the color so we're going to put this one in the first point of it we need to get the green down here right there there and there and as you can see, and oh i forgot to say i also deleted uh the purple shapes um so these ones here because so i've got nearly seven hundred thousand of them i don't think i'll run out if i do i'll make more which won't be fun but i shouldn't run out of them i'm still keeping these ones because there's a lot to get i wouldn't get about about the same amount should be fine and then eventually we might uh, make a start on the other one 
maybe in the next episode. I'm not too sure yet. Not too worried about the upgrades. We're going fast enough, to be honest. Okay. So now, just need to get the blue. And we'll put that like that. And like that. Looks good. There and there. And then we just do that. And then with this one, we'll make a gap. Oops, that's the wrong way. Like so. Would I don't think that gap is big enough. No, that should work. And then we'll put that there. There. And we still need to get the other blues there, which are down here. Which, to be fair, don't really need to go in the gap, but I'm going to make it go in the gap just for uh, just to make it look a bit neater, to be honest. I do try to make it as neat as possible. It doesn't always work, but I do try to make it as neat as possible. All right. So that will go there, there, bam, done. Can that reach? That can reach. All right. And as you can see, that was very simple, very straightforward. I think this item's going to actually be pretty, pretty straightforward. There's nothing too crazy about it. You then will make storage. I just like to have a buffer when I make an item. Put it there. And do that. And that just means if anything backs up or something like that, we've still got the storage here helping us out. All right. Just one more. There you go. A storage of Scion colors, nine. And then, we need to paint. So we're going to need our painters over here. And I even, I need to double check these painters as well. I'm not sure if they're the right ratios. So we're going to bung that there. And we are going to check. So we're doing, oh no, it's quad painting. 2.66 per painter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's over 18. So if I did six, one, two, three, four, five, six, that would be, no, I think I might need eight. Um, let me just double check. Give me two seconds. Okay. So I have just double checked on my little calculator and yes, it's about 6.01 it makes if you have um, well, if you make six, you're just under where it's so negligible, I don't think it will matter too much. So we're going to do that. Not that, but that. And we're going to bring that down to size. And then make nine of these. So two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
eight and nine. So let's just get these in here. Okay, and we have our first part of the shape. That is now going to get cut for a quad cutter, which is this one here. And then we're going to sort of just arrange it so that we can get the, we can stack it with the stars. First, let's make no, actually, we'll finish this bit off and we'll do the stars after. We can do this. Okay, let's see if we've got a quad cutter um, blueprint. We don't. Okay, I need to remember to save one. Okay, so what are we looking at with this quad cutter? We're looking at four items per second. 16 items, that's four of these needed for one belt. If I did something like this, would that work? Um, I can use maybe this one. Oh, I think, no, no, no. I need that. Oh, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Let me just do that two more times. Get a belt down there. And that will give us uh, each corner. So now I need to combine two of the corners together. And we need to decide which ones are, we are doing. Uh, so three lines need to go for this, three lines need to go for this, and three lines need to go for this. I may end up with actually quite a lot because what am I going to do with these two? Mostly use them for this. So this may end up to be more than three lines altogether. But anyway, let's see what's going on here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we are going to combine this one and this one, this one and this one. I think we can actually do that with all of them actually, instead of messing about. Yeah, because it will give us that shape anyway. Hmm, interesting. So I need to combine all of these into one line, so to say, or multiple lines, stack them. So two lines and then stack them and that will be two of the shapes done. And then do all four, all of these. Cool. So how are we going to do that now? We need to combine the ones that we want. Okay, this is going to be a bit big. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it can fit in this so we can just have it going straight up like that. That would be perfect. So first we want to combine them. Here, 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 and here. And this will be used. Oh, oh it's going to be quite big, isn't it? Is it, is it going to have to be like that? That is quite big. Because that means that will go into there. We'll have that go like that, that go like that, and that go like that. Hmm. I think it's just too big for this. Is there no way I can minimize that? Uh, 
I may be able to minimize it somehow. Let's get all this on here and see how it works. I feel like there's a way to minimize it. I may be wrong, but I feel like there's a way to minimize it. So if I maybe do this, then what can I do here? Then I can do this here, this here. No, it won't work. Um, can I bring this one down then? No, because we've got that there. <sighs> yeah, I think that's the only way I can do it. And that is just a bit too big. Oops, didn't want to do that. But this, yeah, look at that. Hmm. Oh, that's a shame. That is a shame. That would have worked perfectly if I could get that a lot closer. Still trying to think of a way to do it. No, it is not, is there? Okay, so I'm gonna quickly sort of arrange all nine of these and I'll see you in two seconds. All right, and we have got all nine connected together. So now I'm thinking to combine, I need to know how many are coming out actually. I'm getting confused with all the numbers. So if I do a stacking, how is that going to look? Oh, we're very close to the hub, aren't we? We're very close to everything actually. This is actually becoming quite big. Okay, maybe I'll do the stacking over here, make it come around and then maybe that can do something and we'll figure it out. Cool. <laughs> All right, stacking, because stacking is 10 or nine, or how many I've got here. And I am going to need to do two for each line here. Like that. And that would give me one there, one there. You need to go like that. That needs to go there, and that can go there. And what have we got? Nice. So we've got both sides. And we can just put that in storage for now. And there you have it. Now we just got to do that with all of them. And again, it's going to be a bit too big. It's literally just going wider and wider as we go up. So I'm going to cut that and put that there. And we can just go through it like this. Is that the one I wanted there? I believe so. And then No, actually, I want this one here. Oh, this is going to be hard, isn't it? But I know a technique that just might work. 
Now, if we take that there and use the other tunnel, we can do that. Yeah, that's fine. We put the wrong one in there anyway. So that one's connected, that one's connected, and it's just this one here. There we go. Perfect. Wow. <laughs> I think that's going to be pretty hard to get across all of here. But why did that stop? Hmm. There's something not right here. Why did you stop? Did you stop because of that? Okay, there's still some of the other colors in there, or the other sides. Uh, that should clear it up. Cool. So I'm gonna rinse and repeat and get that done on all of these. And we'll see how many lines we can make from that. All right, see you in a sec. And we are back after hours and hours of work. As you can see here, all of this, all of this, and multiple frame rate failures, we have come to get our shape. And this is just the base shape of the whole shape, but we have 12, uh, I guess six of each side, um, and all we need to do now is stack them together and put them in the hub. But what I did um, down here, let me just go through everything. I think I've shown this before. I just cut all the circles, stacked them together, and um, yeah, just put it in a the storage there. And up here, I did the exact same thing. Colored the yellow stars, cut them all into little pieces, and then stack them together side by side. And then put that all the way down here to then stack with the circles. And that makes our, well, the base for our beautiful shape. Now we have 12 stackers here. And to make one shape, we would need three. So, it looks like, I wish it was the other way around. I need two pointing to the left and I've got one pointing to the left. I can always uh, rotate, that's not a big deal. So if we need three stackers per shape, one, two, three, four, that will give us four lines. Wow. This was this was quite a big uh, a big project. Every episode I see I feel like my factories are getting bigger and bigger. So let's put that there. There. There and there. And then we need to do the third stacking. So hopefully this shouldn't be too close to each other. Hopefully we can work around it. So the first thing we need to do is rotate this one. Yep, that looks good. And then we need to stack this one at the bottom. No, 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 no. Let me stack this one second. And then we bring that over there. To uh, stack with that one, which would then go at the bottom again. 
that will go there. And let's see, is this going to be correct? I think that, that looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All right, we just need to do that another three times, which is, is not too bad. Not too bad at all, to be honest. So let's get that done. So what did I do? I've rotated. Um, okay, one problem. Okay, I can make them go up at the top. I was thinking, um, how am I going to get this one, the rotated one, past all of this? But I'm just going to do something like this. And then I will line them up down there. So let's get this sorted like that. We're only going to need four, which makes things so much easier. <laughs> All right, let's stack. This one is the bottom, I believe. Um. Let's just make sure first. Oh, why did I rotate that? Oh, I've got to be careful with this. That doesn't even need rotating. Let's just throw these away for a sec. Until it gets past this bit. And done. Yeah, cool. So that one doesn't need rotating. So every other one needs rotating, I'm guessing. That one can go at the top and this one can go at the bottom. Oh, that one is easy. That makes it so much easier. Okay. And then this one does need rotating. So we're gonna do that. We need to get that in here somehow. So let's get some space going here. Hmm. And we'll get you up here like that. Nice. Then get that one, needs to go at the bottom, like that, make some space, and that one needs to go at the top. Nice and easy. And it's the last set, and again, this one should not need rotating. So that can just go straight as it is. Tight squeeze there. There we go. That one should be able to just go straight to the bottom. And that one should go straight to the top. And yeah, all done. There you go. And now, just need to do this last bit. And we have our four shapes finally. Ah, that, that was it. That was massive. That was a massive project. So again, this goes at the bottom here. This goes at the top. I'm just putting tunnels everywhere, really. Um, this one again goes at the bottom. And last one at the bottom.
Okay, it would help if I put it in the right place. Oh, wow. Wow. So, originally, I was doing nine lines of each base item. But that would have come up to 18 and that would have come up to about, I believe, um, six lines of conveyor belts of this item. We only need four. I think four is a decent amount. So that was, let's say that is six extractors worth. So I didn't need the other three. And that's because we cut it in half and I didn't take that into account when I was planning it. But because we cut it in half, it does produce a lot. And now all we need to do is just bring that back to base. And we are all happy with that. It's actually quite a majestic shape, isn't it? It's like hypnotizing. How far is base? Oh, quite far. Okay, let's get this one done first. There we go. Nice. Now we can use that as a guide and get all of them done quite quickly. Yeah, that, that was a long, a long, long uh, project. <laughs> I'm actually pretty scared of the next one. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going a bit. I'm actually pretty scared of the next one. But let's see. And what do we unlock? I completely forgot. Displays. Okay. I have no idea what a display does. <sighs> oh, man, that feels so good to see that. Now, where are the others? Okay. As long as they're coming. Okay, they're all coming. Cool. Look at that. Level 23 complete. Now, what I'm going to do, I am going to let that tick away. And I'll show you guys the, the upgrade that we get. I'll see you guys in a sec. And we are back. So yeah, I got 25k of these pretty fast. Four lines of 16 per second. It it goes up pretty, pretty far. So pretty happy with that. And let's see what it is. Okay, you have unlocked the display. Connect a signal on the wires layer to visualize it. Did, did you notice the belt reader and the storage output? The last red item by showing on display. Huh? Did you notice the belt reader and storage output their last red item? Okay, they output their last red item. Try showing it on the display. Okay, so I have kind of no idea what this this is. Um, let's see what we can do. Um, is that how it works? No. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see what it's saying though. Do you see what it's saying? So, mm, let me get rid of this. No, I don't want you there. Oops. Ah, uh, messing up. Can you not rotate this? Okay, then, let me put you like this. No, doesn't want to work. Okay, never mind. Doesn't seem like it wants to work. Okay. Um, so what this does, so this outputs, this shows the last inputted uh, item and you can connect it to the display in some various way. 
and uh, it will show you that item, which yeah, is not too bad. Not too bad. Just helps you visualize what your queue is or what you need to do. So that is uh, it for this one. We get logic gates next, which I think opens up a lot of automation, which I'm very much looking forward to. And again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.